Hads, you ready to draw another My Little Pony? Yes. This one likes apples? Mm-hmm. Which one is it? Applejack. Yeah, we're going to draw Applejack today. It's going to be a little challenging for young artists, but that's a good thing, right? Because it's good to challenge yourself to do hard things. Yes, and remember, if it doesn't turn out exactly the way you want to, to always practice. Because I promise it'll always turn out better the second time. Ready to get started? Yes. Got your marker? Mm -hmm. We hope you guys are going to follow along with us. If we go too fast, what can they do? Pause the video. Yes, you can always pause the video. All right, Hads, here we go. First step, we're going to draw her eye like all of the other My Little Ponies, okay? We're going to do an oval, and it's going to be kind of tipped to the side, and it's going to be pretty big. Here we go. So see how it's diagonal? See how it's kind of going that way? Mm -hmm. Can you try that? So we draw it right. Yeah, that's a good place. Good job, Hads. And then let's draw the inside of her eyes. We'll do, draw a little backward C. How old are you? Five. Five. All right, now let's draw the big uh, white circles in her eyes that make her eyes look shiny. And then let's draw a little one right next to that one. Good, okay, now let's color in that, the middle part without coloring in those two little circles. We wanna leave those white. Good job, perfect. Ah, all right, okay, now let's draw the outside of her eye and we're gonna color this part green, but we'll put a little line out here so that we know where to color. I like drawing My Little Pony eyes. They're so big. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and they look cute. Okay, now let's draw our eyelashes. We're gonna do one curly line, and then another one, and then a third one. Good. Okay, ready for the next step? Uh-huh. Okay, now let's draw her ear, and it's gonna be just to the right. We're gonna put a dot just next to this eyelash, okay? That's where the bottom of her ear is going to be. So draw a little closer, a little closer. There you go, right, right next to her eyelash, right about there. Perfect. <laughs> okay, now we're going to come right above her eyelash, and we're going to start her ear. We're going to come up to a point. Yeah, <laughs> two points. You win. Good. Job, and then we're gonna come back down with the curved line to that last point down by her eyelash. I like your ear, it's perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay, now let's draw another curved line inside for the inside of her ear, right next to that big one. Yeah, good. Okay, now let's draw her hair. So we're gonna draw a little zigzag line. We'll draw a curved line that comes down and points to her hair, right here, the short one. Good. Okay, now let's do a zigzag line back. Draw a little zigzag line back. Good, and then we're gonna curve back to the front. Good, and then we'll zigzag line back up. Just a little one. Good, ads. Then we're gonna do a big curve line out to the front. So we'll draw a little curve line. Let's start this way. We'll start from here. And we'll do a big curve line like that. And that's our hair flipping up. So we draw over here, we draw a curve line that comes like that to maybe that out, out to that point. We draw a big curve line. Oh, and you curved the other way. I like it. <laughs> uh, try it again and do a little curve line going down. That's a rainbow line, huh? There we go. And then we'll color over that line. Okay, you ready to, let's curve back up that. Then we could do a little S line, kind of curve S. Good. Okay, and then we'll do another zigzag line back. Okay, now we're going to do a rainbow line, like this line, that first one you drew. And we're going to draw back almost to the top of her ear over here. So here we go. We draw a big rainbow line. Like that. Does that look like her hair? Mm -hmm. So draw it from that point all the way over 
to the top, almost to the top of her ear, from this point, right there. Draw a big rainbow line up. Keep going up. Good. You did it. That's the front of her hair. Let's draw two more lines inside of her hair, okay? So then there'll be S lines. So here we go. We'll go up and then down and then back up. Up, down, back up. Ooh, that was a fancy one. I like it. Okay, and then let's do another one right below that line, okay? So we'll do it just like that one. And then back down. Up and then, good. Oh, yes, I like it. Okay, ready for the next part? Mm -hmm. We're gonna draw the rest of her face. We're gonna go a little bit over from her eye and we're gonna do a J line, okay? And it's not gonna hook all the way up, but we're gonna come down and then we'll come over. And see how it doesn't hook back up? Mm -hmm. It just comes out and that's gonna be for her nose. So that's her forehead coming down to her nose. So you can start right here and then do that J shape. You go, it's almost a backwards L. Good. You can come out just a little further. Perfect. Okay, now let's draw her eye. It's her other eye, so we're going to draw a line that comes in like that. Okay. Good. Okay, and then we'll draw another. So we're going to draw another rainbow line. This is for her eye on that side. So we're going to draw a little. Rainbow line right there. Yes. Good. And then let's draw another uh, white circle inside of that or an oval. That's for the reflection in her eye. Good. And we can do another little one if you can fit it in there. Right below it. And then we'll color in everything except for those circles. Good, okay, now let's draw that green part of her eye, and that'll be another rainbow line over the pupil. Good, okay, now let's draw her, the bottom of her mouth and her jaw, it's gonna come from her nose, and it's just gonna loop around like that. And just do a big, Yes, good job. I like it, Hads. I love how your My Little Ponies turn out. They look really cute. <laughs> okay, now we can do her little nostril and it's just a little U shape. Good, and then we'll do her little smile and it's a slightly bigger U shape, right at the end of her nose. Good job, we did her face. She looks pretty cute, huh? <laughs> oh, and I like the little cheek line you did too. Okay, should we do her hair? Mm -hmm. All right, so we're gonna come back here from behind her ear, and we're gonna come almost to this point, and we're just gonna loop around like that. So a little S line comes down to this point right here. So do a little S, good. Jaw, that's perfect. Okay, now let's come back up here and we're going a little higher on her ear. And we're gonna do a line that comes down and then back in. And we can connect this. Let's go ahead and connect it like that. It almost looks like a raindrop shape. So start right here, come down, and then connect into that line. Make a little J. See that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then connect it. Good. Hey, now let's put a little U, and this is for the rubber band that's in her hair, that keeps her hair pulled together like a ponytail. <laughs> Good, okay, now let's draw the bottom part of her hair and we'll do a big U shape, an upside down U or a rainbow line. So here we go. We'll connect it right there and we'll come back out. Good, and then the other side. You did it. Good, and I like how close you got. Okay, now we're gonna zigzag back up. And you might not have very much room, but that's okay if you can 
try and fit it in. And then we'll do a big line that comes out. Good. And then we'll zigzag back in. And then we'll do another big U shape that comes around like that. Yes, and then connect it. Good, okay, now let's do the lines that are inside her hair, kind of like these two lines. So we'll come back up here, we'll do a little S line, comes out and in. Yes, good, you did it. Okay, and then we'll do another one right next to it. Another one right there. There you go, perfect spot. Ooh, it's fancy. Okay, and then we'll do one down here too. So we'll do a curved line like this one. Yes, and then we can come back like that. Yeah, you did it. Hey, we got her ponytail done. She's looking really cute, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Should we keep going? Yes. All right, let's do it. Okay, now we're gonna draw the front of her body and it's her, her neck. And it's going to be a line that connects into right into her hair right there and you could probably let's just draw a big backwards uh curve line or a backwards j right down to here we'll curve right to there so we'll start there and then draw a curve line that goes to there yes just like that Okay, now we're gonna jump over and we'll draw the back of her body, okay? And we're gonna draw a big, uh, kind of a C shape going this way, a backwards C shape. And it's gonna go like this, come out her back, and that's where her cutie marks are gonna be. And we'll come down like that. And we can end actually just a little bit in line with her ponytail. So here we go. I'll show you the little points, okay? So we're gonna draw a point here. And so we'll start her back right there and curve down to there. Start there and do, this is where our cutie marks are gonna be. And we'll also draw a big curve line. Yes, you did it. Okay, now you already drew the whole front of her. I'm gonna finish this front part right here. We'll come down, I'll imagine that line going all the way through. And then this is where we're gonna draw the rest of her body. Okay, so we're gonna draw her front leg. So we're gonna come down like that. So we'll start right here, start at that point, and draw a line all the way down to here. Good. You did it, and we can slide it back up. There we go. Okay, now let's draw the other line of her foot or, and her leg. So we'll start over here and we'll get bigger as we get down to the bottom. See how they get wider? So we can start close. We'll put another point right there. We can do another point there and draw a curved line and connect those. Perfect. And then we can do a curved line down here at the bottom to connect those two. We did one leg. Should we do another one? Yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's do this one next to her, her front leg. So we're, Let's do our other front leg. So here we go, we're gonna draw a curve line that comes down and it looks just like that one. See that? So we can draw it right there and come down, right next to our other leg. Yes, and then let's draw a curve line that connects into that one. Perfect. Okay, now let's draw our belly and she's gonna have a little line that comes. So we're imagining this belly line coming up and curving in and up. So we'll start right here and curve up to right there. Good job. Okay, now let's draw her back leg. Her first back leg, come over here and we're gonna draw a big line out and down. So we'll start right here and then come down to right here. Yes, you did it. Okay, now let's draw the back leg. So we'll draw a little line that comes 
out. Perfect. And then we're going to draw the back of her leg that comes down to there. Yes, you did it all by yourself. And it will curve the bottom and connect them. Good. Okay, now let's draw our other back leg. This is the last leg. So here we go. Draw another curved line right next to that one. So start there and come down to like right there. Good job. And then let's connect that one back in. We finished. She's all done. I'm just kidding. <laughs> we still have more to do, huh? Mm -hmm. Let's try our tail next, okay? <laughs> All right, so we're going to do a big curved line. We're going to start up here at the top. So we're going to draw a big S that comes out and then back in like that. Can you do that? So big S, start there, come up, down, and we can end down there. So draw a big S. Yes. Good job. Okay, now let's draw the outside of her, of her tail. And it's going to make a raindrop shape. So watch this. Here we go. We're going to go up, and we're going to come back down, and we're going to connect in, and it kind of looks like a big raindrop coming out, huh? Mm-hmm. So go up, and then connect in. Perfect. Okay, now let's draw a little U at the end, and this is for the rubber band at the end of her tail, kind of like it's right here on her hair. Good. And then we'll draw, we can draw a line coming out on this side. Good, and then we'll draw another line. A backwards C on this side. Good, okay, now we're gonna connect those two. So we're gonna do a little zigzag up. Yep, and then we'll do a big curve line. Good, and then another little zigzag back in. And then a big curve line almost up to the top and then zigzag back in and connect it. Good, you did it. Now let's draw the inside hairlines like we did over here. So we're gonna start another one over here. Do a big S line, come out, and then in. We can draw it on the inside. Good, and then let's draw another one right next to it. Out, down, Curve in. Yes, you did it. Okay, then we get, we'll do another one right here at the bottom of her tail. Curve line, like this one next to it. We draw a lot of curve lines, huh? Mm -hmm. And then we'll draw another curve line back up. Good. Okay, heads, what are we missing now? Her cutie marks. Yes, she is. She's missing them. Let's draw those next. Okay, now we're gonna draw three circles, and we could draw them a little more detailed, but we're just gonna keep them simple. So one, two, three. One, two, three. And then we can draw the leaves on the top, and they look like little hearts. Do that. Mm Okay, we're still missing something really important. It doesn't look like Applejack until we draw it. Hat. Yeah, she's got a big cowboy hat on, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're gonna start up here. We're gonna draw a big U right above her head. And it's gonna be directly above this eye. So here we go. Big U mark, or U shape, like that. Almost looks like a horseshoe, huh? Mm-hmm. Good, and then we're gonna draw a big curved line that comes out. In, out and in, into her hair. Good. And then let's draw this big, this is a big curved line that comes out over here. And it's going to end in the middle of her hair coming down her, down her head. So here we go. Big curved line comes out and then in. Good job, it looks good. Okay, now let's draw the top of her hat and it's just a little shape that looks like this, comes out and it's kind of flat on the top and then comes back in. 
Good job, Hedge. She looks super cute. I love how you draw my little ponies. Mm -hmm. They're my favorite. And I, I think we need a color here, don't you? Mm -hmm. Should we do that right now? Yeah. Okay, let's pick out all our colors and then we'll get ready to color. Okay, Hedge, we got our colors picked out, don't we? Mm -hmm. And we picked some good ones and we got new oil pastels so we know what the names are. We're gonna use lemon yellow. This one's a yellow orange. This is just a regular green. And our red is called scarlet. We use that for the apples on our cutie mark, huh? Mm -hmm. And then this brown color we're gonna use for a hat and that's, uh, the name of that is okra. And we're using Pentel oil pastels and this is the set of 50. And so if our art friends have that same set, they can use the same colors that we're using. We really like using oil pastels because they blend super cool and they look really bright when we color, huh? Mm -hmm. All right, first step, let's color her whole body with the orange color. But the first thing we want to do before we fill it all in is we're missing her, cute, her uh, little freckles on the side of her cheek, huh? Mm -hmm. So we could draw three circles and that way we won't color them in. So we'll do one like that, a little circle, and then we'll do another circle right next to it, kind of above. And then we'll draw another circle in between those and that's going to be our freckle marks, okay? And we'll color everything except for those three circles, okay? okay. We're going to leave them white. You ready to start? Mm -hmm. Let's speed it up. Right, right now. now. Woo, you did it. That was a lot of coloring, huh? Okay, now let's do her hair and we're going to use this uh, lemon yellow color and we'll color everything in except for the little red part and we could do that really quick. Should we do that? Mm -hmm. We'll use our scarlet red and we'll color the little rubber bands in our hair and then we can fill in the rest of her hair with the yellow. Ready to do it? Mm -hmm. Okay, you ready for a hat? Yes. Let's get the brown. And this is our okra color. Okay, and then we're gonna color everything in, including the top of her hat. Okay, next step, let's do the red on our cutie marks. And we'll use that scarlet color again. And then the last step is our green. And we can color in almost the whole thing. I think it would look really cool if we leave a little white in the green right there. Right about right. Or right there too. That works. <laughs> that works too, Hans. Okay. And then we'll color in her other eye. And then the last step, if you have room, you can color the little leaves on her cutie mark. Hans, we did it. We finished Applejack. Give me five. You did such a good job. Did you have fun? Yes. Promise? Yeah. <laughs> Remember, that is the most important thing when you're drawing, is to always have fun. When you're doing any art, make sure that you're having fun. Right, Hats? Mm -hmm. Yes. And don't get frustrated. Remember, if your drawing doesn't turn out exactly how you wanted it to, just practice. And I promise the second time you draw it, always turn out better than the first time. Right? Yes. Yes. Should we say goodbye to all our friends? Yeah. <laughs> See you later, our friends. Goodbye. Bye.